Sunday night football, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers go to Dallas. You know, Chris, Tom Brady has only played once before in the Cowboys' home stadium. So it's a level of excitement. We see that from guys from time to time. They get to play in Jerry World. And Tom Brady, who's been around the block many times, seems to actually be excited about the prospect of playing in Dallas. It's a rematch of week one last year, 31-29. The two teams were the highest scoring franchises in the NFL. First time ever that the two highest scoring teams from one year meet week one the next year. Two-point favorites are the Bucks with an over-under of 50. Who do you like? I like the Bucks. I do. You know, I, I understand. I you know we are going to question that interior part of their offensive line, you know. But it sounds like Tristan Wirfs is going to be back after about the oblique strain. I don't think Dallas's defensive line is good enough to really take advantage of the Bucks' offensive line and the questions we have there. So I know that what was it Brady there in two thousand seven where they just went up and down the field on the Cowboys. I I think they're going to do that again. You know, I like the Cowboys secondary. I think there's some talent at a corner, but I just look at the Bucks and still go, well, man, they got a lot of weapons. They got a great system. I still think the offensive line is going to be good enough. And then I think of the other thing I look at to where I just look at the Cowboys where I think, you know, I wouldn't be shocked to see Dak Prescott pushing the ball down the field, making a lot of plays there. I think they know they got to be aggressive, but I don't trust their O-line. I don't. Not, not with Tyler Smith, the left tackle, against this group right here. I mean, wow. Vita Vea, Akeem Hicks, Shaquille Barrett, you know, Tryon, Trianka, uh, uh, what, Trianka, yeah, Trianka, I'm the rookie from two years ago. I'm blanking on his name. But you got it. They got some beasts up there. So I'm going to go Bucks 34-30. I think the Bucs are clearly the better team than the Cowboys, but it's week one, and I could see some mistakes made, and Todd Bowles being too aggressive, blitzing and doing things like that, where the Cowboys make a few plays, 34-30 Bucks. I got 31-28, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I think we're going to see focus and determination from Tom Brady, trying to prove people wrong. See, that, 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 that's, He made the comment in his Let's Go podcast about feeding negative information to the offensive linemen to motivate them. My guess is he has soaked up with a sponge everything that people like us have said about his lack of commitment and he wanted to play for the Dolphins and he's getting old and this, that, and the other thing. He's going to be as determined as we've ever seen. I'm not going to say more determined because he's always extremely determined. I think he comes out, takes care of business, 31-28. I think it could be a little bit more than that yeah, for the Buccaneers. Well, I'm trying to make Cowboys fans feel better about only picking them to lose well, by three. It's hard with a week one. You're, you're all right. And the, you know, the Cowboys, they are explosive. You know, Again, that's just where I think Dak Prescott's not really valued quite to the capacity he should. It's, it's the last few years. It's, hey, Dak Prescott, stand in there and throw for 400 every game. And we're not going to throw you, you know, 30, 12, I mean, uh, two-foot passes. They throw the ball down the field. They're aggressive. He does not get enough credit for that. That's where I could see them being a pain in the butt. I do, I do wonder, Mike, to your point, if it's more – and if Todd Bowles adjusts from the way he played the Cowboys last year, where he blitzed too much, and maybe he's this year goes, wait, I'm not going to let them have those chances. Uh, it'd be interesting to see. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.